The Light Cahill, either wet or dry, is a great fly in the east, typically in the month of June. I've had terrific success with both the wet and dry versions. And uh, if you fish a lot in the east, I would have both in your fly box without a doubt. Uh, this particular version is done on a number 12 wet fly hook. Um, it, can, it can be done a little smaller than this, 14 maybe. Um, I wouldn't go too much smaller than that for the wet version. Uh, the dry version is typically done in, I, I, I do them in 16. Uh, that's about the only size I do them in, to be honest. The wet is typically tied with a, uh, a wood duck tail, whereas the, the dry um, more often has light ginger, although the, at one point in time they were tied dry with a wood duck tail as well. Just the wood duck doesn't float quite as well. This fly is easy to tie and very effective in the east. This thread is tan, ADOT, uni thread. Yeah, I know uni makes it in light Cahill color, but I've always used tan. I always leave a little bare hook right up behind the eye. That's a habit from tying Catskill flies for years. But it's a good habit. Just cuts down bulk at the head. Just a few wood duck fibers for the tail. I like them about shank length. And that was a little too long initially. I pulled it to length. We don't have to worry about building a body with this fly as it's the body is made from fur red fox fur in this case a uh, little bit of think of it as almost the under fur what i do is i i in order to make a, a, a sort of a dubbing it's not really a dubbing See that? I've, I've just cut that in a little bunch off of the red fox um, skin and then pulled out the guard hairs. And I try to dub this as finely as possible, uh, getting a little thicker as, as I go. And I'll pull strands out of it just like as if you're as if you're dubbing with super fine. Just pull a few strands out lengthwise. Uh, don't chop this up in a coffee grinder. That, that's kind of a waste of time. At least it is in my opinion. Not much you really need to do with this. You just use the, the fur as is after you've gotten rid of the guard hairs. You can overwrap this, try to build a little bit of a taper. And you want to go you want to take it pretty far up here i've i've haven't estimated my my dubbing exactly right you notice i haven't waxed this thread uni thread uh typically the kind you get in the in fly shops is is waxed already very it's got a very subtle wax in it 
They do make an unwaxed thread too, but I think most of what's sold is waxed. I don't know that I've ever bought any of the unwaxed. The hackle I'm going to use is uh, Whiting Wet Fly Saddle Hackle. You can use a lot of things. Um, this is a light ginger. Some tires tie this fly almost white. I've I've never done that. I've always I've always tied it more or less tan ginger, if you will, or light ginger. But I I don't really like the cream version, although oh, it's it certainly sold a lot, and somewhere there must be some. Uh, some white or cream uh, light Cahill's hatching. I don't know. I've never seen them. Everyone I've ever seen has been tan. Some places I haven't fished much are the Delaware and uh, the Beaver Kill. So it's entirely possible that they're they're lighter there. This is a big hatch all through the east. Up where I'm from, it was probably the, the primary hatch um, up in the Adirondacks. Uh, they hatch, I've seen them uh, at Penn's Creek. Um, and, of course, I know that in the Catskills, it's, it's, a, it's a primary hatch. That, that and the Sulphurs are the two big hatches in the east. In fact, the Stenonema hatches in general... Um, the March Brown, the Gray Fox, and the Light Cahill are very prevalent almost everywhere in the East and, and in the Midwest as well. I've had, I've had some great days on, on the uh, Mad River with this Light Cahill, wet. This is the easiest way I've found to put these wings on. You take a, a wood duck feather and you just fold it along the stem as, as I did there and just mount the whole shebang all at once. You can do right and left slips. Um, you, you can do a lot of things, but this way... is. To me, fairly simple, easy to accomplish, and uh, typically turns out well. Do a whip finish and we're done. You can see how quickly you can do one of these. Piece of cake. I like the natural fur dubbing for this, but you can use whatever you want. Super fine, be be fine. I'm sure it'll still fish. Here's the finished fly, 360. The fish love this, and, and if you fish this fly just under the surface, you'll get some uh, savage strikes, and the water explodes. It's really exciting. Have fun fishing this one.